Michael Jeffrey Jordan was born in Brooklyn, New York when Dolores and James R. Jordan Sr. welcomed a bouncing baby boy on February 17, 1963. He is the fourth of five children. If you didn't know, Michael goes by the nickname Air Jordan or his airness. He got this name in the NBA from fans because of his ability to hang in the air for a long time during dunks. He has also done a documentary on his career called The Last Dance and written numerous books on his career and life. Career Michael Jordan attended Laney High School in Wilmington, North Carolina. Michael didn't make the team as a sophomore because of his short height, but this gave him extra motivation to prove his worth. The next year he grew four inches and trained rigorously to earn himself a spot. As a senior, Michael averaged 25 points per game and this got him scholarship offers from Duke, South Carolina, Syracuse, and Virginia. However, he committed to North Carolina to play college ball. In college, Jordan averaged 17.7 points, 5 rebounds, and 1.8 assists per game. He was named to the NCAA first team. Jordan played three years of college ball before declaring for the draft. In the 1984 draft, he was chosen by the Chicago Bulls as the third overall pick. One of the best drafts ever, which saw many of the all-time greats like Hakeem Olajuwon, Charles Barkley, and John Stockton. Talk about really deep. Most of us know of MJ's career and that he is widely considered the greatest player of all time. The GOAT, baby. But here are some fun facts. His airness is the only basketball player to never lose in a championship finals with six rings. MJ is the first player to win three straight MVP finals. He also holds the record for the most points in a playoff game with 63 against one of the greatest dynasties, the Celtics. It was unimaginable that Larry Bird said he was God disguised as Michael Jordan. He also has the highest career points per game average in history at 30.1 points per game. Talk about stacking those records. Jordan is also known for his signature tongue out dunk and clutchness. He has also won the Presidential Medal of Freedom for his impact towards basketball. Now we know a little about MJ's b-ball career, let's get into how he makes all his loot. Contract After being drafted by the Chicago Bulls, Michael signed a five-year, $6.3 million contract. Jordan's talent wowed the Bulls and he led the team to the playoffs every year that he's been in the league. In September 1988, Jordan signed an eight-year rookie max contract worth a cool $25.7 million. In October 1993, Jordan retired from basketball and started playing baseball as a result of his father's death. A season later, his heirness returned to the NBA. The two following seasons, he was paid $30 million and $33 million, respectively. But with the pending departure of Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, and Phil Jackson, MJ decided to retire. Two years into retirement, Jordan came back not only as a player but also as part owner of the Washington Wizards where he signed a two-year $2 million deal. Over his playing career, MJ has made over $93 million in salary alone. Talk about being a baller. Endorsements MJ was an early bloomer and brands couldn't wait to partner with him. His first endorsement came in his rookie year with Chevrolet and was a contract worth $200,000. Michael's most successful endorsement deal is with Nike, where he signed a five-year contract worth a cool $500,000 with $250,000 up front and a signature shoe called Air Jordan. The release of his first signature shoe, Nike Air Jordan 1, shattered prediction by making sales of $126 million in the first year. The rest is history and the Air Jordan sneaker line has changed the game in fashion and player endorsements for Nike. The Jordan brand today is worth over $4 billion alone, and that doesn't include Nike's other basketball lines. Today, Nike is worth over $180 billion, and a big part of it was the boost from Jordan starting in the 80s. The Jordans are still wildly popular, and MJ gets a 5% royalty on sales. So Michael still makes over $150 million a year just from Nike. Mind-blowing! His endorsement deal with McDonald's made him become the first celebrity in history to have a meal named after him. He also has deals with Gatorade, Ballpark Franks, Upper Deck, Hanes, Rayovac, and Wheaties. So Michael Jordan has a net worth of... Wait, we're going to get to that later. Jordan is still raking in that dough after retirement, baby. 
let's see what he does with it. Cars. Being the greatest player of all time gives you access to luxury that most people would kill to have. Jordan has a classy taste in cars and owns a few in his driveway. The cars in his collection include a Chevrolet Corvette C5. This shouldn't be a surprise since his first endorsement came from them. A Porsche 930 Turbo Cabriolet. Toyota Land Cruiser J80. Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. Ferrari 512TR. Mercedes W140 S600 Coupe by Lorenzer. Porsche 993 Turbo S. Aston Martin DB7 Volante. Bentley Continental GT. Cadillac XLRV. Bugatti Veyron Sangnor. He's also been seen in his fast silver McLaren Mercedes SLR 722. Talk about cruising in style, baby. Yacht. It's no news that if you rake in the cash, you've got to have the finest things in life. MJ's love for the sea made him purchase a sleek super yacht worth a cool 80 million. This yacht is 230 feet long and comes with a full length basketball court. He also owns an $8 million fishing yacht called Catch 23. Houses. After playing his entire basketball career with the Bulls, it shouldn't come as a surprise that Michael owns a mansion in Chicago. This mansion is located in the Highland Park suburbs, spanning over 56,000 square feet on seven acres of land. The home features nine bedrooms, five full and four and a half bathrooms, and a basketball court. The property also contains an infinity pool, a full-fledged golf course, tennis court, several outdoor spaces, and an actual 32,000 square foot living space. The house has been on the market for years and still has no bites. It started off at 29 million and has been lowered to 15 million. He also owns two mansions in his home state of North Carolina. The first was purchased on the lakefront in 2013, spanning over 12,300 square feet, featuring six bedrooms with an outdoor pool and a private dock connected to the lake. Here Jordan dropped a cool 2.8 million for this beauty. The second is a luxury condo on the seventh floor of the Trust Building on North Tyron Street in Charlotte that spans over 7,000 square feet. This is just walking distance to the Hornets Arena, making it super convenient for the GOAT. At this time, it was listed at $1.75 million. He also owns various mansions in Utah and Florida. Talk about a homebody. Investments. His airness can throw it down on the court, but he has slam dunked on some remarkable investments. MJ bought a minority stake in the Hornets in 2006 to become the second largest shareholder. And four years later, he purchased controlling shares to become the first player to own the majority shares of an NBA team. He invested $180 million and the current value of the Hornets is around $1.5 billion. In 2020, he partnered with Denny Hamlin, a NASCAR driver, to field a NASCAR team with Bubba Wallace named 23XI. 2311. He also owns a steakhouse in New York, a golf course called Grove 23 and DraftKings. Charity. Jordan won the hearts of fans not only by his good looks and fadeaway, but also his desire to consistently give back to his community. Jordan has been a sponsor for Make-A-Wish Foundation for over 30 years. He also donated all of his salary in 2002 towards the 9-11 charities. In 2018 and 19, when a hurricane hit, he contributed to each of the relief efforts, respectively. MJ has also made sizable donations to numerous charity organizations, some of which are the Miami Pro, United Negro College Fund, and many more. Talk about generosity. Love Life Jordan got married in 1990 to Juanita before they began running into problems after 12 years. During Jordan's 16 years of marriage with Juanita, he has three kids. In 2002, divorce was filed on the grounds of irreconcilable differences, but they managed to salvage their relationship for four more years before finally parting on mutual terms. It was one of the most expensive celebrity divorces in history, as Juanita reportedly walked away with $168 million. After his divorce, Jordan's eye caught Yvette Prieto, a Cuban-American model, in 2008. After dating five years, the two lovebirds tied the knot in 2013 and are currently proud parents of two kids. The couple is still going strong and we love seeing them out together. Cute couple, yes indeed. Net worth. 
Now is the time you've all been waiting for. How much is Michael Jordan worth? Air Jordan is the richest basketball player ever. With everything going on in Michael's life, he has a net worth of $1.7 billion. Real goat life in the building, baby.